Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. In this video, I want to talk about one fundamental issue that is wrong from the developer's point of view in the Android O. Stay tuned and let's get started and talk about it. Now before we begin with anything, I know some of you might be seeing an Apple machine there and might be thinking that this person is heavily biased towards Apple. No, that is not the case. Although I like the machines being produced by Apple because they are uh, very high in quality and uh, performs really well. But this is not the case. I have recently switched from iPhone 6 to OnePlus 3T and I'm loving it. I'm liking the Android quite a lot. In fact, I tried Android once before that was not that much good. I switched back to the Apple, but this time I'm sticking it. I'm loving the Android interface. And one of the reason I'm loving it because my phone is having the latest things in here, like uh, the Android N is there. Now, but one thing that is fundamentally wrong from the developer's point of view when you will try to design apps for Android O. Now, I don't know what they are going to say that. Uh, there are rumors that they are going to call it as Android Oreo, uh, but I don't know what that would be. It's going to be a surprise. Let's just see and wait out what they call it. Coming back on to our point, what is this fundamentally wrong going on with Android? Now, if you have been developer in the previous past, you might have seen when you try to design an app and say that my app would be compatible with Android N, there is a block message at the bottom. The message simply says that, are you sure you want to design an app for Android N? Because less than 1% of the devices are using Android N. Now, here comes the fundamental issues. Now, if less than 1% devices are using Android N, I know Android takes a very huge uh, masses of the audience and a huge number of cell phones are using Android. But again, still on top of that, if less than 1% of the Android devices are using Marsh uh, Android N, the Nougat, but on top of that, you roll out Android O. What do you want to convey to me? That less than 0.5% of the devices will be using Android O? No. Here comes the fundamental issues for which nobody's talking about and we need to discuss it so that it reaches to the ears of the Google. Now, whenever a new phone is being launched, I know the phone is being controlled by other third parties like Samsung, Vivo and OnePlus and all, all those brands that are out there. So whenever the Google launches out an update there, the fundamental issue that uh, goes wrong in here as a consumer that when this update will be available to me, to my phone, that's the problem arises. If you design an app that uses the latest feature, nope, your phone is not being installed with the latest operating system and hence you are not going to get that latest feature. Now, some people have to think that whether my phone is going to have that operating system or not, or some people have to wait for three months or four months after the rollout of the things. Now, this is a complete different scenario uh, when you design an app for Apple, because when I design an app in Swift and take advantage of the new features being rolled out in iOS 10, I'm pretty sure that more than 90% of the devices are using uh, the same uh, version of the operating system that I'm designing for. Now, I'm completely aware that Apple is a closed ecosystem and uh, it's pretty much easier for them, but again, the, the Google has to come up with some kind of solution in which more number of devices, the low end devices are also compatible with their latest operating system. If that would be the case, it would be fantastic and it would be a killer step in the Google uh, environment there. Because now, uh, and I also want one more thing that whenever the developer preview or maybe a, a final rollout version is being rolled out, actually on the same day or maybe within a 10 days or five days, it should be rolled out to mass public as well so that they can take advantage of that operating system. Otherwise, it's just a new news and that's it. Everybody is going to forget that. People who are using, uh, let's just say one year old devices uh, of Samsung or maybe any other brand are maybe not going to get that operating system and it's bad. Your product is not reaching to the consumer. That is something we need to deal up. So I think uh, this will create a little bit buzz around and uh, Google will listen to it sometime in the future maybe and will try to roll out operating system that are much more compatible with the low end devices and more people can enjoy their latest operating system uh, regardless of whether they have bought the phone one year ago or two year ago or maybe uh, they don't need to buy at least a new phone. Now also there is one more thing that uh, since uh, Google is not handling or not is uh, governing the 
uh, companies like Samsung and everything, they like to just customize this operating system quite a lot and then roll out to the user. And if it this customization takes around six months and everything, it's, it's a no use. And on top of that, when you give a message like uh, less than 1% of the users' uh, uh, devices are using this, uh, it doesn't make sense to me to make an app there. I hope you got my point what I'm trying to say in here. And in case you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and in case you are new here, consider subscribing to this channel. We talk a lot about programming and the tech news around in here. So with this, I'll catch you up in the next video.